Good Agricultural Practices Asia Gap Activities by Kalasak Multipurpose Cooperative in the Philippines Globally, interest in the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs has increased since they were adopted by the United Nations in 2015. In agricultural production, there is an activity called Good Agricultural Practices that ensures sustainability. GAP is about continuously improving by implementing, recording, checking, and assessing each agricultural production process. A GAP certification shows that a farm meets standards. The certification body conducts audits and farms that meet the standards can obtain a certification. A GAP certification can support the credibility of farm activities as the third-party verification that the farm follows the GAP standards. As a result, buyers sometimes require GAP certification as one of the conditions for purchasing agricultural products. One of the GAP certifications is Asia GAP, a program developed and managed by the Japan GAP Foundation. Asia GAP is based on five principles – farm management, food safety, environmental conservation, worker safety, and human rights and welfare. Asia GAP, particularly for food safety, is recognized by the Global Food Safety Initiative or GFSI, a global network of food retailers and manufacturers. GFSI aims to improve food safety and business efficiency by recognizing private food safety certification programs that meet its benchmarking requirements. There are seven GFSI-recognized certification programs in the area of agricultural production. To be recognized by GFSI, the certification program must also meet the requirements related to the certification mechanism. In addition to the program owner, there must be an accreditation body and a certification body. For audits to be fair and impartial, only certification bodies whose competence has been formally demonstrated by the accreditation body are permitted to conduct audits. This mechanism maintains the credibility of third-party certification. Further, Ishigap has a training and dissemination system in place. The project for enhancing the understanding of GAP by Japan ASEAN Partnership or ASEAN Math GAP project is a three-year project started in April 2022. As part of its activities, the project supported Kalasak Multipurpose Cooperative in the Philippines in its effort to obtain Asia GAP certification. In collaboration with the Department of Agriculture of the Philippines and San Jose City, an Asia GAP trainer from Japan has been advising Kalasak for over a year. At the beginning of the activity, Kalasak had already acquired Field GAP, the National GAP Certification of the Philippines. This experience helped Kalasak to understand the contents of Asia GAP and put them into practice. By obtaining Asia GAP, Kalasak aims to improve their production, management, and expand their sales channels. As a result of the project activity and following an audit by a certification body, a group of 25 onion farms from Kalasak obtained Asia Gap Group certification in July 2024. This marks the first time a farm in the Philippines has obtained Asia Gap certification. Asia GAP offers both group certification for a group of farms and individual certification for an individual farm. For the group certification that Kalasak obtained, a group administration of it must be established to manage the group in accordance with Asia GAP requirements. The group administration of it sets common rules within the group and disseminates them to each farm in the group. Kalasak developed the manuals with the assistance of Asia Gap trainer from Japan and local advisors to clarify how to manage the group in each farm according to the Asia Gap standard. The staff of the Kalasak Group Administration Office along with local advisors then disseminated the manual to each individual farm. Now, let's look at some examples of activities aligned with the five principles of Asia Gap. In farm management, establishing the farm policy ensures that all staff works towards the same goals. 
Internal audits are conducted regularly to assess and verify whether each farm complies with the standard. During the project activity, the Asia Gap trainer from Japan provided training to Kalasak's internal auditors on how to conduct internal audits. Internal auditors who are familiar with Asia Gap conduct internal audits on all the farms. Based on the results, each farm implements the necessary actions for improvement. To ensure food safety, it is important to assess risk and take action to address them. The first step is to organize a flow diagram which clarifies each production process, including planting, harvesting and sorting, as well as inputs such as agrochemicals, fertilizers, and water. Based on the flow diagram created, the next step is to identify potential hazards for each process and assess the risk by considering the probability of a hazard occurring and the severity of its harm. Countermeasures are then established according to the risk. For example, to prevent agrochemical drift, Kalasak communicates with neighboring farmers about the timing of spraying and the type of agrochemical used. In terms of environmental conservation, waste generated on the farm or at the facility should be properly documented, stored, and treated. Galaza contributes to the recycling of resources within the community by producing and using a soil conditioner made from locally grown fruits and vegetables. To ensure worker safety, a risk assessment must be conducted to identify and document dangerous activities and areas. Following this assessment, countermeasures are established and safety rules are communicated to the workers. Farmers are required to wear the appropriate clothing and equipment to ensure their safety, and these rules are outlined on the posters at the farm. Warning signs are displayed to notify workers of dangerous areas. Last but not least, human rights and welfare are also significant areas in Asia Gap. The work environment must be properly maintained. For example, the environment is designed to ensure that workers can drink enough water during their work and take breaks in shaded areas. Additionally, Asia Gap includes requirements for communication between employers and workers as well as compliance with fair working conditions. These examples of Asia Gap activities are just a part of the comprehensive efforts required to meet Asia Gap standards. Uh, by implementing Asia Gap, uh, we improve our farm pra farming practices. Thanks to the series of guidance meetings and constant coaching of our local advisors, we improve our facilities for recording practices and provided proper training for farm workers. We became more conscious of the worker safety and human rights of our fellow farm workers. We also learned to collaborate with our neighbors and explain that we are implementing good agricultural practices. As a result, they became more conscious of using pesticides and proper disposal of chemical bottles or waste. Additionally, we understood the responsibilities of a farm manager deeper. Uh, firstly, our members questioned the purpose and importance of implementing Asia Gap, in addition to Peel Gap. During the orientation, our members were concerned whether they can comply with the documents needed to fill up for the farm records. They were overwhelmed by the requirements at the international level, especially the Japanese standard. Secondly, translating the documents from Japanese to English to Filipino was hard at first as we referred Japanese documents to formulate the manual. Because of the challenges, members' participation has decreased during introducing the Asia Gap manual. This led 
us to choose 25 out of 65 farmers who had the potential to fully commit to following the upgraded manual from PILGAP to ASIAGAP for this group certification. As we pass the Asia Gap certification, we hope to get all of the remaining member certified as well. This will enable us to increase the area of production that is qualified to export onion. We would also like to be certified with our other crop. Implementing Asia Gap has further enhanced the field gap practices of the farmers. Together with them, we were able to review the existing farm practices that align with that of the Asia Gap. They were able to have deeper understanding on the good agricultural practices. As a result, Kalasag farmers improved and shared their learnings to their farm workers and the community they belong. They were able to look more carefully on the welfare of the farmers and the farm workers, ensuring human rights advocacy. With Kalasag obtaining Asia Gap certification, the farmers have developed confidence that their produce can compete in the international market. Indeed, this is a proof that they can produce onions that is safe for both the producers and the consumers, while also ensuring the conservation of the environment. And this journey can potentially encourage other farmers or farmer groups to pursue Asia Gap certification as well. Every new concept poses various challenges, especially among the farmers. But practicing field gap is an advantage to encourage the farmers who were skeptical at first. The farmers have doubted initially if they could meet an international standard. Training them in a group has become more difficult as the production season is in progress. So, we changed our strategy and conducted training in smaller clusters to ensure thorough understanding of the manual. The Jollibee Group subscribes to globally established food safety standards, and this extends to raw material sourcing, where suppliers of agricultural commodities must have the Philippine Good Agricultural Practices, or FILGAP certification. As a social development arm of the company, the Jollibee Group Foundation provides technical support to our partner farmers to implement GAP protocols to ensure that the vegetables are produced and handled in a safe and sustainable manner. The Foundation has also produced a manual to help our partner farmers carry out the GAP certification process. To date, 12 farmer groups are GAP certified, four of which have internal control systems or GAP ICS. Jollibee Group Foundation works closely with the Department of Agriculture Regional Offices and the Bureau of Plant Industry for the field gap certification of our partner farmer groups across the Philippines, and we are profoundly grateful for their support. During business with Kalasag, they consistently uphold quality produce and service. Hearing the news that they passed the Fail Asia Gap certification, only reinforces that Kalisag is trustworthy in terms of service, quality, and food safety. The certification will also help them expand their business as it serves as a badge that most of the buyers want to see. It also supports JFC Sustainability Goal to source quality raw material direct from our partner farmers and JFC Vision to serve great tasting food, bring the joy of eating to everyone. <music>